So I started a business. <laughs> now I know there's quick clickers out there, so I've got two bullet points for you guys. One, the company's name is All About the Bait. You could check out the website at www.allaboutthebait.com. Two, I've got a special offer, a grand opening special, a custom designed fishing shirt uh, created by myself and Jeff the designer, my graphic artist specialist. Hi everyone, Jeff Cappings here. I am the creative director behind the All About the Bait merchandise that Steve is telling you about. Uh, as you can tell from the landscape, I am not in the Keys. I am up on the Canadian border in the frozen north. Uh, air temp here is balmy 9 degrees. I'll wager Steve has better weather than me. Uh, it features our All About the Bait logo. In this instance, we're featuring the pilchard as the bait. Uh, if you follow the tail around, it's got a full wrap around with a tarpon, which is our matching predator species. And we've got the full on size logo with a trailing bait there as well. Now this shirt is a Gildan model 8400, which is a 50-50 cotton polyester blend. So it's got the best of both worlds in regards to comfort. Plus it's got that wicking and quick drying because of the polyester. Uh, using special uh, Plastizol ink, which is designed specifically for polyester style uh, fabrics. And they say these new inks are so durable that they'll pretty much equal the longevity of the shirt nowadays. Now there's actually two different shirts, but same design. I did two runs. The first run is the white with the teal ink. Uh, originally the was plan was I did one order and it was going to be enough for my soft opening, which I did for my Patreon supporters. And then the rest would be used for this grand opening. But unfortunately, or fortunately, my uh, Patreon supporters bought pretty much all of them. So I've only got a few left in a few select sizes on the white with the teal. So I ordered another hundred in the, it's a gray twill, I guess I would call it, with the uh, forest green ink. Now I'm going to be offering these at a base price of just $20 flat and that's free delivery to your door so just $20 bill gets you a new custom design shirt here from here in Key West. See where our shirts are born as their business hours. Yeah, that's my special offering. I'll probably give it a week to 10 days and then we'll rise the, raise the price back up so I'm not actually losing money selling these. All right, you quick clickers, click off and hit the www.allaboutthebay.com and buy something. <laughs> Heck, everybody click off, go over there and buy something. I'd prefer you do that than watch the rest of the video. Or come back once you're done buying something. But uh, anyways, if you've got time, um, 
I'm going to actually just do kind of like a highlight video about the company because I'm going to treat this business somewhat the same way that I do my YouTube fishing videos, which is a playlist about how to create a successful YouTube channel or my video series about an introductory guide to fishing the Florida Keys, all right, where I'm going to go into more detailed videos about certain topics and just kind of work them down the line. I'll do the same thing for with this business side of it. So this is just kind of more or less just a highlight. Uh, one of the main aspects, the key aspect is, is that to understand that this is going to be a business. All right. Now, one of my specific things I tell people when they're trying to build their YouTube channel is that you have to think about it like a business. All right. Make good decisions on your YouTube channel just like you would if it was your business. Well, this is going to be my business, so times 10, right? And a lot of times I'll say is that I always have a golden rule. Well, the golden rule in this aspect is literally that I need to make this a, a successful business. Now, it's not that I need, I'm going to looking to, oh, I got to make million dollars or billion dollars doing this. No, it's, it's a little different is that it needs to be profitable. But for the reason being that my number one priority is me fishing. And while I'm spending time building this business, that means I'm not out fishing. So the return on my investment of this business needs to be enough to compensate me for me going fishing. So the standards are going to be high. So I need this to be pretty well run to uh, be successful. So going forward, um, like I said, I'll go into more details on all the aspects of it. Uh, I just understand that I am going to be making this and it is a legitimately true business business. It's not kind of like the, the YouTubers who will look for a platform that kind of will host their t couple t-shirts or whatever and then they handle all the, the production and the uh, shipping and then they kick back a couple of dollars so you can say you've got your own merchandise. Now this is going to be a true business, okay? Um, I've already registered with Florida and the U.S. government. I've uh, got the DBA all set up for all about the bait. Uh, bank accounts, I've got the tax exempt spot stuff done, uh, trademark stuff's all set up, all right? So, and all of those is because future opportunities down the road are we going to be required that everything on the backside is specifically legitimate, okay? Because like I said, I am going to try to grow this to a fairly well-established level, all right? And uh, again, keep in mind that golden rule about it just... The decisions that I'm making and the reason why I'm doing these specific things is for that reason. All right. Um, quick common question I think that'll come up is like, well, you're QS kayak fishing. What's this all about the bait? Okay. And again, using that golden rule part of it, uh, QS kayak fishing was, is just too limited. All right. If you break it up, it's basically Key West and then you've got kayak fishing. Now, Key West is a two mile by five mile island out in the middle of the ocean. It's a speck of sand in the massive beach of the world, all right? Yes, it is a world-class fishing destination. Yeah, it's gotta be one of the top couple places in the US, but it's saltware under specific. It's exotic species specific, all right? So a lot of people don't know about what goes on here or don't really care about it, okay? And that eliminates my market share and I wanna be protective about that. Same thing with the kayak fishing and it's probably even magnified because you go from a genre of 100% of fishing availability, okay, multi-billion dollar industry, and I'm segmenting out just like a small percentage of kayak fishing. And it's very kind of competitive market in regards that boat fishermen are not going to really buy kayak fishing merchandise. All right? You're not going to see some guy on his fifty hundred thousand dollar boat out there flashing kayak fishing uh, memorabilia out there. And no different than a shore fisherman not going to really be like promoting kayak fishing. Okay, people are very specific to what they do. And again, that's that market. If I add those together, then I got a 
minuscule market share that I'd be looking for. Now, not that that's bad because like I said, my Patreon supporters, I've got a very loyal Key West kayak fishing bait, not just my Patreon, but just very loyal viewers in general and subscribers, okay? So that's what's making all of this possible. So don't think I'm not understanding that part of it. And just them by the smell is a small percentage bought out everything I had, all right? So I do understand that. But again, golden rule in the future outside of that, I can't limit myself in regards to the marketability and the profitability of the company. Now the store in general, um, if you haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but you're gonna see some specific categories. And again, I knew that I didn't wanna be another Bass Pro or whatever fishing stores online where they sell virtually everything, all right? Now, that's just not reasonable, okay? I don't have a couple million dollars to just kind of throw out there and try to get a huge business started. I isolated, sat down and isolated the things that I wanted to specialize in, all right? And these are what are the categories I kind of built up. So it's basically six categories. Four of them I've got set up and you could probably pick them out pretty quickly. One is the all about the bait, okay? Featured on the bait. Um, I've got 10 specific baits and you can tell by the uh, five inch stickers that I've come out with, with those 10 featured baits. And those kind of are the top 10 baits utilized in kind of like the, the Southeast US, uh, specifically Southeast Florida, specifically Key West as well, and kind of merges up there, all right? Some of the baits go all the way up. Some are just specific to the area. And I'm gonna feature those and I'm gonna utilize those and kind of do things like this, like the, the pilchard versus with the tarpon. I've got other things that are gonna match up to those 10 core baits. Then later on down the road, when I'm kind of comfortable with, I've covered the bases there, then I'll go to another grouping, maybe the Northeast Coast or maybe the Western uh, United States, the West Coast, or maybe the Freshwater Central, all right? And just build it up in that regard. Not a shotgun approach, but very specific, categorized, build those up, manipulate them. Um, just for instance, the stickers are great sellers. I, I, they're, they'll sell like crazy. But what they also do is to give me an idea on which one I should promote in my other merchandise. If I see blue crabs being crazy selling, all right, you more than likely that gives me a good idea of not what I want next, it's what customers are gonna want, blue crabs on the rest of my merchandise, and that's why we'll build it along. Um, the second category that I'm gonna build on is my stuff. The stuff that, you, if you watch my videos, the stuff that I use on all my fishing trips, that's also what I'm gonna be selling. And you'll be able to pick those out when you go to the website. You can say, oh yeah, that's Steve stuff. Oh yeah, that's Steve thing. Oh yeah, that's Steve thing. All right, so those are the things I'm gonna focus on building up a supply of all those key categories there. The third category is gonna be kayak supply stuff. And again, it's not gonna be like I wanna be one like ACK, uh, that big kayak store, internet store. No, it's just the stuff that I utilize, the stuff that I know works really well, and it might not be stuff that you can buy at ACK, specific things like that um, I'll have. And then the fourth category will be Keys, Florida Keys specific fishing equipment, all right? Supplies that we utilize here in the Keys, and that's one of the things that I found is we have specific style of fishings that are not utilized in anywhere else I've ever been, all right? And it uses specific equipment. So when you're coming from Minnesota or Texas or California, you're gonna have no clue about the things that we utilize and are successful because we use. But if you come to my site and you look at these category of Florida Keys equipment, you're gonna see, oh, you need this lure and I'll have videos about it, how to use it, why you use it, the best way to use it, where to use it and all that stuff. And it'll be, oh, I need that, I'm gonna buy it and so forth. Now the fifth and sixth one I haven't started yet and those are kind of down the line. Um, I, I, yeah, I guess I can tell you. It's, the fifth one is kind of gonna be a YouTube collaboration category. So it'll be something related with other YouTubers. And the sixth one is going to be kind of a not fishing, but Florida Keys, Key West related merchandise. All right, things that I think are pretty cool that are still relevant to everything else, but I think would be interested to my viewers and my customers. 
and then I'll start adding on to those later. But for now, if you go to the, when you go to the website, check it out. And I think those four key categories, you're going to like, oh, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, I see that. And I see that. And it's pretty, pretty much stands out what I'm talking about in that regard. So anyways, I think that's enough for now. All right. Click off here. Click in the description to the allaboutdebate.com or type it in, do a search. Check out the store. See what you think. Definitely buy the shirts because the shirts are going to go pretty quick if it's any indication how my first ran went. Get them while you can. Uh, I'll have more stuff every week. I've got stuff already lined up. I've got uh, suppliers here in Key, in the Key West in the Keys. Got suppliers throughout the U.S. And I've got international suppliers I've been working on a lot for the last three months getting all this stuff here. So anyways, enjoy. Uh, buy something. Again, thank you very much. Uh, it's because of you guys, my Patreon supporters, all of this is possible. So anyways, thank you very much and I'll see you next video. Bye.